Hi, I'm Chef Anna Olson, and this is my quintessential cookie series, where I make 10 recipes from simple to elaborate and everything in between. Within the series, you'll learn every trick there is to know about making perfect cookies. So let's not waste a minute and get right into the kitchen. Chocolate chip cookies are the perfect place to start a quintessential cookie baking series. It is a classic cookie and they're easy to make. All you need is a mixing bowl and a spoon and the ingredients. Well, in an oven too, of course. I'm starting my cookies by creaming some unsalted butter, half of a cup. And creaming means just smoothing it along the bottom of the bowl. Now to add a little structure by working sugar and butter together, that builds stability in your cookie. That has it hold together. So brown sugar plus a bit of granulated sugar. And then truly to show you what creaming represents in terms of the technique, it's that pushing of the sugar and butter along the side of the bowl to blend the ingredients together. But you can hear the sugar working its way into the butter. I add a single egg and a teaspoon of vanilla. Vanilla is one of those ingredients I rarely measure precisely. I just sort of get used to what a teaspoon is. A little more gets in, that's just fine. A little less, that's okay too. It's chocolate chip cookies. For the dry ingredients, I have all-purpose flour. And when you're making a simple drop cookie, and a drop cookie refers to a cookie that is simply dropped by spoonfuls onto your baking tray, you use all-purpose flour and there's no need to sift it at all. You stir your dry ingredients together. I have some baking soda and a bit of salt, but my secret, my signature ingredient to my chocolate chip cookies to ensure that they're soft in the center yet crispy on the outside is adding two tablespoons of cornstarch of all things. And what that starch does is it holds in the moisture in the center of the cookie. So even a day later after you've baked them or even if you've accidentally over baked them, they'll still be soft in the center. So I add that to my flour mixture and I just use my fingers to blend it together. Being a baker, I'm a big fan of precision in measuring ingredients. And while this recipe calls for a cup of chocolate chips, if a few extra happen to slip in, even a half a cup extra, that's not gonna hurt these cookies. Once you've got the chocolate chips in, it's time to scoop. I do like to use an ice cream scoop, that way each cookie's the exact same size, and you don't have arguments over who gets the bigger chocolate chip cookie. Another great tip is to actually scoop these, put them on a baking tray, pop them in the refrigerator or freezer until they're firm. Then you just have to bag them up, and then you've got cookies on demand. Pull them out, thaw them, and bake them as you need them. I leave a couple inches space between the cookies to allow for expansion, and these take about 10 minutes in a 350 Fahrenheit oven. How could you resist a cookie like that? Of course, the hard part is resisting eating them when they're just hot from the oven. These cookies are just the beginning of my quintessential cookie series. So please join me for lots more cookie adventures. <laughs>